Update error is one of the most common problems in the Windows operating system. Ignoring this error might affect the functionality of your Windows OS or even deprive you of some upgraded features. Now, I am going to show you how to fix this problem and get your Windows updates running. Let's go. Now, we're going to split this into different methods. For this first method, we'll go ahead to File Explorer. Go onto this PC, go to Windows C, click on that. Go on to Windows. Now scroll down and you're going to look for this software distribution. Open that. Now we're going to delete all the contents right here. These are mere junk files from previous updates and downloads. So you're free to delete everything right here. Just delete it. Now we're just going to X on this. I'm going to the second method, guys. And please don't skip any of this step that we're doing right here. For the second one, we'll go right here, search for troubleshoot. Click on Troubleshoot Settings, select other troubleshooters, click on that. Now on the Windows Update, go right here and click on Run. This is going to check for any errors that might be affecting your Windows Update. You just wait for this process. Now in my case, it says the troubleshooter made some changes to your system. Try attempting the task you were trying to do before, just in case you don't find any problems right here. Don't worry, I have other methods to show you. So now I'm going to close this and I'm going to try again. Try to update Windows Update. Just type Windows Update. So now if you check for update. So on my side, it seems to be okay. So I'm just going to proceed to show you the other method just in case this has not worked for you. All right. For this next method, we're going to use the command prompt. We're going to go right here, search CMD, type CMD right here. Under here, you're just going to run as administrator. This is important, guys. Don't open it. Run as administrator. I'm going to click on that. So right here, we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now tap on enter and similarly just like the troubleshooter this is going to scan your entire computer system for certain errors not just the windows update so uh, give it some time roughly two to five minutes now it's going to scan and check for any possible errors regarding windows update and other problems more like a general check actually just wait for the process now in my case it says windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation means there is no issue whatsoever so in your case if it finds any errors and it might just instruct you on what to do which might include restarting your computer so but in my case there's no issue so i'm just going to close this i'm going to show you the next method so now we're going to search for services click on services so we're going to scroll all the way down here look for windows update okay double click on that now first if you notice right here the startup type is set to manual so we're going to expand this on the right side and change to automatic it has to be on automatic and click on start in case you have this part running you can stop this for a while and start it back so after doing that just click on apply and okay Go back to your Windows update and check if this problem has been solved. Just in case after doing all this, you still have problems with your Windows update. I'm going to show you one last method and this one should definitely work. For this last method, we're going to head onto the browser. I'm going to search for reset Windows update to tap on enter. So you're going to click on this one right here. I'm going to be leaving the link in the description anyway. So click on that. Navigate to this download icon and click on it. So we're going to go for this recommended downloads. We have other ones right here, other downloads. But we're going to go for this one right here, which is the portable one. Just click on that. And our download should start immediately. Now we're going to head on to the destination folder. And this is the zip file we just downloaded. Just highlight on it, right click on it. I'm just going to extract it with WinRAR. Here's the setup file. Don't double click on it. Just highlight on it, right click on it, run as administrator. Now we have language options right here. I'm just going to select zero, tap on enter. Now it's going to ask for some permissions. Tap on Y, tap on enter. So of all these options right there, we're going to choose this number two, which says reset the Windows update components. Tap on two, then tap on enter. 
Wait for a few minutes for this process to be done. It says deleting the old software distribution backup copies. Okay, and just wait for a couple of minutes. Do not end the process. It might show you this error and that error, but just ignore it and wait until the end of the process. The operation completed successfully. Tap on any key to continue, then we can close this, then proceed to restart your computer. After restarting, you go and check. I believe if you try all these methods, your problem with Windows Update will be solved. I hope you find value in this video. If you do, remember to subscribe to this channel. Also, leave this video a like and let me know which one of these methods worked for you. Have a nice day and peace out.